welcome back to the channel once again. Believe it or not, it might come as a bit of a surprise, but I'm actually down the Jurassic Coast today. So I'm down here today with obviously my lure rod. No tarpaulin this time, just a sleeping bag and a bivvy bag. Slightly more hardcore than usual. I'm heading down to a spot that a lot of people probably know called Dancing Ledge, which is a rocky platform just to the west of Swanage. Back in the days when they used to quarry down there, they actually carved a pool into the rock platform. So the plan is, amongst a few other things, to obviously have a lure, maybe have a bit of a dip in the morning or maybe in the night, see how cold it gets, because it is still northeasterlies at the moment, so it does get a bit cold at night. And also I've got my bridge camera that's got quite a good zoom on it. So I'm gonna see if finally, for the first time, I can spot one of Dorset's six or seven puffins that actually nest around Dancing Ledge. I'm not gonna film the walk down there because it's the same walk as my last video, to be honest. So if you fancy seeing what the terrain's like, head over to that video, but obviously come back here once you're done. Just set up on the high ledge at Dancing Ledge and I can see some birds out in the water. I'm just trying to zoom in on the bridge. It's quite bright so it's quite difficult to see them, but I think they're guillemots. Might yeah, I think guillemots and razorbill. Can't see any puffins, but it's got to be one out there somewhere. Believe it or not, I've just spotted my very first Dorset Puffin. It's been a long time coming. It's been on the bucket list for a very long time. I mean, I've, admittedly, I've not spent hours and hours here, but you know, I have been here enough times with the binoculars and the camera looking out over the sea and I've never managed to spot one. And yeah, it was quite a way out, but I think I've got an all right video. At least you can make it out keep an eye out just in case it comes a bit closer but yeah absolutely brilliant awesome species starting to think that I'd never see one so I think I'm done up here now just the one puffin for, for probably about 30 seconds flapping around basking in the sun before it disappeared hopefully I'm as successful with the fishing rod later Not been filming much because I've had a family just to the left of me watching my every move. Um, but yeah, did have a, a nice pollock actually, probably about two, two and a half pound mackerel, two mackerel, and a bass. Uh, I was just about to put the pollock back and they shouted over apparently they're having a barbecue tonight, so I um, gifted them the pollock. But yeah, they've just left now, so I'm going to get the camera down there and maybe get some footage. It's about two hours before sunset, so should kick off any, any time soon, really. I mean, there's loads of mackerel about, caught two and dropped one, so pretty fishy. stupidly gave my mackerel away, now I can't catch one. Fortunately I picked up some smoked mackerel on the way, so I'm just cooking that up now with some rice. Sunset is in about an hour, so I'll eat this and then probably spend a couple of hours luring when it gets dark, put on a bigger, bigger lure, see if I can find a bigger bass. It's pretty rough out there, I thought it'd be quite calm today actually this uh, northeasterly wind but it must be well, it must be quite a big swell or otherwise it's wind over tide because that normally kicks up kicks up the ceiling
That's it now, everyone's gone. Well, I said that before and then a bunch of climbers found their way down, but they were nice enough. They've gone now. So it's just me on the ledge. Found a convenient little little cave. I don't know if you can call it that. But it does offer a bit of protection from the wind because it is northeasterly and as I say, it is quite cold. Looks like I won't be sleeping on my own tonight. Everywhere I look, there's these little things. Not the, uh, not the prettiest things, but tasted pretty good actually. There's the bed for tonight. There's the view. I have to admit, I don't think I'll be wearing four pairs of trackies in June. It is pretty cold. I'm not sure what the temperature is, but I'm gonna guess at, I wanna say six, might be a bit warmer than that, six to eight degrees, but it's June, what's going on? Another cracking night's sleep down on the Jurassic Coast. Whoa. Pretty sure I was up every half an hour throughout the night. I don't know what the time is now. Feels like about 3.45. Oh yeah, 3.52, not a bad guess. Coffee and allure, I think. the ones you get at this time in the morning are, are bigger but keep, keep giving it a go it's pretty lumpy out there today actually big swell what well, morning I think it's almost time for a dip just one bass so far but I'm gonna have a few more carts before getting my speedos on for that moment you've all been waiting for I hate cold water I'm not gonna lie but supposedly if you stay submerged for nine minutes, I think you get a 2.5 dopamine hit, which is not far off what you get from doing cocaine, apparently. The only difference is the cold water, or the dopamine from the cold water lasts for about six hours, I think, as opposed to whatever it is for co cocaine, two hours, one hour, something like that. So the plan is, line of coke, jump in the pool. No, it's not really. Must be about quarter to five now. So I'm gonna get my 
swim shorts on, take the plunge. Might make myself a coffee first, so I've got one when I get out. Some warm clothes to chuck on. Yeah, let's do it in style. I should have bought some flip flops. Uh, well, I didn't make it to nine minutes, safe to say. I think I was in there for about three minutes. It hasn't been refilled since yesterday, so it's kind of been there with that northeasterly north wind blowing over it all night. I thought it would be quite cold, but actually, it wasn't too bad. I'm going to say it was probably in the double figures. Oh. One day I will make it to the nine minutes, but that will definitely do for today. My skin at the moment is just tingling all over. Feeling fresh. Been quite busy, st slightly stressful week at work. So to come down here, catch a few fish, a bit of cold water therapy has definitely done the job. So from Dancing Ledge in Dorset, thanks for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next video.